hello you're welcome how to solve this nice algebra equation solution from here and what we have here this is the same thing as x times square root of x and times square root of x equals to 2 here then here we should note that whenever we have roots a or generally n truth of a this same thing as a raised to power one over n that is yeah what we have become x times square root of x n times we can write this now and becomes x raised to power one over two then equals to two on this side then from here, this is x raised to power 1. We can apply the law of this is it. Then we have a raised to power m times a raised to power n. The same thing as a raised to power m plus n. That is here we have x times square root of x raised to power 1 plus 1 over 2. Then equals to two on this side and here we bring this part together as well this one over one this we have x times square root of x raised to power the yes, same up here that's two one in two that's two times one that's still two plus two into one one times one that's one equals to two here that is we have x times square root of x raised to power 2 plus 1 that's 3 then over 2 equals to 2 from here then also we write this square roots change it to power of half we have x times x raised to power 3 over 2 then raised to power half is it equals which is equals to 2 here that is yeah this follows also when we have a raised to power m or raised to power n it's same thing as a raised to power m n that is here we have x times x raised to power 3 over 2 times 1 over 2 equals to 2 which is same thing as x times x raised to power 3 times 1 3 over 2 times 2 4 equals to 2 here that is also here we have x raised to power 1 and when we apply the law of indices which is a raised to power m times a raised to power n which can be written as a raised to power m plus n here we have x raised to power 1 plus 3 over 4 equals to 2 on this side you are watching us here at Master T Math Class. Subscribe and give a thumbs up to this video. This kind of problem is common to Math Olympiad problem. Because uh, we have it as an interesting let's theoretical and exponent simplification. Thank you. Now, here we can bring this part together as well. We have x raised to power. This one over one, the SM here is four. That is one in four. Four, four times one, that's four plus four in four, one, one times three, that's three, equals to two here. That is, here we have x raised to power four plus three, that's seven, then over four, equals to two on this side. That is, here we can multiply both power by 4 that is raise this side to power 4 we have x raised to power 7 over 4 which is raised to power 4 then equals to 2 raised to power 4 yeah this multiply from the law of indices 4 here cancel each other and we have x raised to power 7 equals to 2 raised to power 4 which also becomes x raised to power 7 equals to 2 raised to power 4 to multiply itself 4 times that's 16 
Then also to get x raised both sides to power 1 over 7, that is x raised to power 7, then raised to power 1 over 7 equals to 16 raised to power 1 over 7. At this year, also 7 cancel each other. We have x equals to 16 raised to power 1 over 7, which also can be written as x equals to the 7 truths or 16. And from here, we can get the approximate answer to this. And we have x equals to 1.49 approximately. That is, here we have the value of x here as x equals to 1.49. Nine. Then we can check here if this satisfies this given problem. That is, we substitute the value of x. What we have here, which is x approximately 1.49. So let's substitute here into this equation to check that this the equation become 1.49 multiplied by square root of also 1.49 then times also square root of 1.49 then is it equals to 2 on this side then here we solve from inside here root 1.49 and with this become 1.49 times square root of 1.49 times root 1.49 give us 1.22 here to 2 decimal then also we multiply this now and we have 1.49 then is this equals to 2 here then times square root of, we multiply this 1.49 times 1.22, that gives us 1.8178. Is it equals to 2 on this side? Then here, we have 1.49 times square root of 1.8178. That gives us 1.35. The two decimal places is it equals to two on this side? Then we multiply this here 1.49 times 1.35 that becomes 2.0115, and this is approximately two. And therefore, I conclude that this side is two, which is equals to two on this side. Hence, we have left hand side equals to the right hand side. I believe you enjoyed this class and share this video, give it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching. Subscribe as well and put your comment. And see you in our next class. Thank you. And there, uh, you say bye for now.